How's it going everyone? It's Sourcing Mouth back with an all new video. Today I'm going to be showing you the most recently that you guys have been asking for. So for fixing MD0005 error inside of Epic Games Launcher, it could be Fortnite, it could be Paragon, it could be uh, Unreal Engine 4. So if you're facing errors even in Paragon, whether it be Paragon from Epic Games Launcher, it be Epic Games Launcher itself or it be Unreal Engine 4. So that problem particularly persists in all of these three. If you head over to Epic Games Launcher support website then they say that you that's probably a connectivity issue. So first of all thing what you need to do is to make sure that you restart your router. Once you have done that also also make sure that you have verified every path and single path of whatever place you are installing things. Okay so let's get, get up straight to the point. If you haven't followed me over to Instagram, make sure to follow it. it must be flashing out on screen. It's underscore hey sorrow from in, on Instagram. The link's given below in the description. You can check that out. You can follow me. You can also follow me on Twitter. It's at the frozy tech. Well, with that getting said, let's put that all aside and let's jump straight into the video. So first of all thing that you need to do is the first thing is that you uninstall the program. If you're facing that in Unreal Engine 4, uninstall Unreal Engine 4. If you're facing it in Epic Games Launcher, uninstall it then if you're facing that in paragon or it be fortnite make sure that you install them and then what you need to do is head over to task manager right click and click on task manager the same for windows 7 you can just right click and click on task manager and from here from here you need to go way down just hold this if you're it's not filtered then it might be something like this or it might be running up something like that so just hold this and drag yourself way down till you find windows explorer now this service is one of the major services that's run in Microsoft Windows. It's just like everything that is going on. So we have to deal with this. What we need to do, I don't know why this thing fixes the issue. I really don't know why it does so, but it does works. What you need to do is to right click onto it and you need to end task. Do not restart. Restarting will restart this whole, but end task. I'm not doing that because if I do that, everything is gonna go off in my video. So just click on end task. Once you do that, make sure that you first uninstall your program. Go to the task manager. Go to the very last. Let's move like there. Right click, end task, do not restart, and then restart your computer. Once you restart it, reinstall your program and it should work well and fine. Now, if you're in reinstalling your program, there's a tip I want to give you guys. Do not install your program, Fortnite, Epic Games Launcher, into the same directory where Epic Games Launcher has been installed. For example, if I open Epic Games Launcher, mine is in G Media and then Epic Games Launcher Engine. So what you need to do is to make sure that you, any of the program that you download from Epic Games Launcher must be outside of this drive. It could be any drive, whichever you want. If you have installed Epic Games Launcher Windows Drive C, then you can head over and go to drive D, E or G or whatever drives you have, Does it doesn't depend, so it doesn't matter, it's mine. So I hope that fixes up the issues. If you're having any problem, make sure that you comment down below. I'm gonna be coming up with the fixes that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, it's an underscore hey sorrow. Also follow me on Twitter, it's at Frosty Tech. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's Sourcing Rob from Frosty Tech, signing out.